Hello, welcome to Art with Flair. I'm Meredith and I'm a Makerspace mentor in the hub at the Grays Lake Area Public Library. And I'd like to thank you for joining me for this program. I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint this picture step by step with acrylic paints. The uh, design pattern and the step by step instructions were provided by the socialartworking.com website which has been a wonderful resource for me when planning previous library painting programs. So let's get started. Let me show you the supplies that I have on hand. So here are the supplies that I have to be able to paint this painting. Um, I'll start with our paints. We have six different colors. You'll see starting in the upper left, titanium white, raw sienna, raw umber, then going to the bottom row, phthalo blue, Mars black, and Venetian red. Then I have my instructions, and it calls for three paint brushes, a three-quarter inch flat, a 12-inch bright brush, and a number two round, which is this one for details. Um, but I will probably be using other paint brushes as well. Then I have some water. Uh, this particular painting uh, uses a lot of uh, watered down acrylic paints. It's called a wash. Um, so I have two, actually two containers of water so that I have enough water to make my wash washes. And then I have the canvas and the pattern, and then the carbon paper to trace the pattern onto the canvas. And then I also have a plate to do mixing with, and paper towels, of course. All right, on to step number one. Okay, looking at my instructions, step number, well, step number negative one, is transfer pattern. What I want to do is take my carbon paper, put it on the canvas with the carbon side down, and then I'm going to lay my pattern on top of that. The pattern should just about fit the size of the canvas. And then I take a pencil and I'm going to trace doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to trace what I see on the pattern here. I'm going to trace it so that it is marking the canvas underneath with the carbon paper. You can be as detailed with this as you'd like. Um, I mean, if you want to follow the lines exactly, you can. Um, I tend not to. Um, and on this one, this is a fairly simple pattern. Um, sometimes you might have a painting that has a more detailed pattern and you would want, you might not want to actually trace everything. Okay, almost done. So you can see I need to move my carbon paper over. So that it will I can continue it over to the end of the paper of the canvas. So now when I lift the carbon paper and move the pattern over, you can see I have it traced on my canvas. This is exactly what I want. On to step number one. Okay, I have my pattern traced onto my canvas and I'm going to move on to step number one in the instructions. It says use three quarter inch flat brush and clean water to wet the sky, avoiding the crane and water pattern lines. 
Use the same brush to mix two brush loads of water, one part titanium white, a small amount of raw sienna, and a small amount of raw umber to create a wash. A wash is when you add water to the paint to make it watery, um, more like a watercolor paint rather than an acrylic paint, um, which makes this painting a little bit different than most of the other ones that, that I've done. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use um, one of my water containers to be the wash, and I'm going to use the other one to actually clean my brushes when I need to um, clean them. So I'm keeping them separate. But as you can see, I'm just dabbing water onto canvas here, where they talk about it. Um, not, not getting it on the head and not going below the horizon line here. Okay, now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to mix two brush loads of, I'm also going to use this little cup, two brush loads of water. And then one part titanium, basically you just kind of get some on your brush. And then a small amount of raw sienna. and a small amount of raw umber. And then mix them together. We get more white. And then more water. Trying to get it so it looks more brown like the background here. And then I'm going to start painting. And you can see it's going to blend in with the water that I already put on there. And it's going to look very much, very much like a watercolor paint. And you really want it to have this, this wet look. Now the rest of the step one says to use the wash to paint the sky starting at the top of the canvas and using loose brush strokes to allow water to mix the colors for a watercolor effect. Use the same brush to paint additional wash in left side of sky. So I've done both sides. I'm actually going to add a little bit more water in there. And if you go over a line, if you didn't want, or if you think there's too much paint in some area, if you want to just keep 
I'm going to give it a little bit different look. Um, you can use a um, paper towel to just dab it dry. Now it says to wash the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and wash the brush and move on to step two. Step two wants to use the same three quarter inch flat brush and water to wet the, oops, not clean enough. To wet the water area of the painting down here where the crane is standing in the water. So again, I'm just going to dab a bunch of water down here. And remember, this is your painting. There is no right or wrong. However you want it to look, you want to use different colors, you want to use different style, you don't want it to look watercolory. Um, you know, that's up to you. You paint it um, however you want it to look. And there, however you do it is wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to use the brush to apply small amounts of phthalo blue, raw umber, and Mars black to the water area. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the blue. Some of the blue. And some of the raw umber, which is the dark, darker brown over here. And then some black. A little bit of Mars black. Looks like I might have gotten those mixed up. All right, and then I'm going to use more water and just kind of blending those colors in. Dab some of that blue. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more blue up in the top area here because I want to a little bit more of the brown, the raw umber down at the bottom. Just so there's a little bit more contrast. All right. And it says to use loose horizontal brush strokes to allow the water to mix colors for watercolor effect. All right, step number three is to use the number two round brush, which is this small detail brush here. 
to mix four. I'm going to grab another cup again to mix four brush loads of water. One, two, three, four. One part raw umber, which is this darker brown here. And a small amount of Mars black. Here. Four. All right, you can see that's getting kind of dark here. All right, to create a wash. So again, you want it watery. You want it really watery here. So all the colors blend. You really don't need much paint at all. Okay. And now we're going to use this to paint a reflection of the legs. So down here, you can see where the legs are. So down below the legs, I'm just going to go like there's a reflection. And the water, so you can see how it's all blending together. Okay, so they recommend using short horizontal strokes. Do that. And because there's so much water on the canvas, it's going to help all those colors blend. All right, it says to save the brush, so I'm not going to rinse it out yet. And then using the same number two round brush to mix one part Mars black with a brush load of water to create a wash. And then I use that to paint the beak and the eye and to outline the head. So I'm just going to create some wash over here. And then black. So you almost want it as thin as ink, I think. Okay. So here's the beak. Okay, so um, paint the beak and the eye. And outline the head. So basically where your pencil has painted the pattern or traced the pattern. That's the part that we want to outline with black wash.
Okay, and then it says to use the same brush and titanium white to highlight the beak. And it says to refer to the photo. And what they mean is, go ahead and look at the picture and you can see some of the details there. Like you can see where the, the highlight is here. I'll go ahead and I'll do the top of the beak pretty much. Okay, that's step three. Now I'm on to step four, using the number 12 right brush, which this is actually only number seven, but that's okay. To mix four brush loads of water. So one, two, three, four, and one more if you could look and then two parts titanium white. And a small amount of phthalo blue. And a small amount of raw umber, which is the dark brown. to create a wash. Okay. So I'm going to use this to paint the crane's neck and body. Not, you can see I'm not doing very well here. I'm get his eye back in. Try not to have the eye feed into the head. So we'll do the rest of the body too. All right, I'm going to add more. I need to make more wash. So I'll just add more of the same.
Just stay a bit. To try and maintain my the visual outline of things on the word for the body ends, for instance, when the water starts. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Just maybe get some more different strokes, make it look a little bit more feather-like. There. Okay, so then it says to use the same brush to blend small amounts of Mars Black, Raw Umber, and Thalo Blue in wash to create darker areas of the crane. So that's where we get to start getting the shadows down here at the bottom of the, the feathers and the definition of the wing. So let me just start darkening up areas of this. Or you could do completely different. You could be doing it on a plate. Make sure to keep things watery though. So you get that watercolor effect. I'm trying to maintain that feather look here. And also the outline of the, the shoulder and the wing here. Or that Blend into the neck. Can I darken this up? No. All right. Still working on the crane body here. I'm going to lighten this area up again because it's just getting too dark. So, add more water. So you see it's kind of a, it's a balancing act. I mean, I, I go back and forth. I add light and then I add a little bit of dark. And it's really however you think your crane should look. Whatever color combinations you prefer to have. Um, I just thought it was getting a little bit too dark up there. And I like the lighter 
I like the lighter effect better. Or maybe you like it darker. So it's still a little bit too dark. I add water to keep it that wash consistency. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like that. It just adds texture and and layering I like that okay that is the end of step four the crane body <clears throat> moving on to step five oh, and it says rinse the brush okay so moving on to step five we use the round brush again just the detailer brush and Venetian red. So you're not going to need a lot of Venetian red to outline the top of the crane's head. It doesn't even say to add water to this. They want this vibrant. Okay. All right, so it says use same brush and water to blend paint inward. So yeah, I guess I was supposed to just paint the outline, not the whole. Yeah. That's the beauty of paper towels, though. All right, so I'm gonna You want it to look smoother on the inside, it looks like. I liked it better darker. Okay. And then you rinse the brush. And then you use the number two round brush again and black to paint the legs. And details around the beacon eye. Okay, so I've got my black here. And again, it doesn't really say to water it down. I'm just going to make it straight back. Just a little bit of water. I'm just going to use my two um, There. To make it a slightly better consistency.
right. So how's your crane looking? Are you happy with it? If not, change it. Repaint over some area. Add a different color. Different type of brush stroke. This is your painting. You can make it look however you want. Okay. It'd be good for the legs, I guess. Okay, and now it says details around the eye and the beak. So, looks like maybe. Right. All right. The same brush in white. Paint highlights. On the crane's legs and eye. Okay. And then use the round brush just to rinse it. And then use the round brush to mix two parts titanium white, one part raw sienna, and a small amount of raw umber. So I'm going to go ahead and This, I think, was raw umber. So, two parts titanium white. One part raw sienna. Like this. And a small amount of raw umber.
Okay. Now there we've got uh, a little bit of tan color, a little bit of water, just working with it nicer. And then use paint to mix, use mix to paint loose strokes in water using horizontal strokes and on cranes. So I'm going to make my canvas a little bit wetter again. Need to dry it out a bit. And I'm not getting that watercolor look when I add these. A little bit more of a brown. Get to add more of a feather look. I'm going to go back with some of these brushes I was just going to, I didn't get right up to the leg.
and here's my finished picture. I hope you enjoyed painting your picture as much as I enjoyed painting mine. And I really want to thank you for joining me for this Art with Flair program presented by the Grace Lake Erie Public Library. I hope that you join me for the next one. We have one again on October 27th and again in November. Um, again, there are take and make kits that can be uh, picked up at the library if you notify someone in the hub that you uh, that you are interested and would like to register for the program. Thank you very much for joining me. Until the next time, this is Meredith from the Hub signing off. Stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.